Hi everybody, welcome back to another cover making video. It's been a while, especially since you've seen me jump up on my piano bench and string a shower curtain onto my front window. Um, so <laughs> I was making a book cover for Rewired, which is book six of Fostered because I just reread it and I just feel like printing it out. This is me stringing up a shower curtain, like I said, so I can take a picture for the front cover. And if you've seen a few of my other videos, uh, I think when I made the splintered book cover, I also did this. It's, it's just the same thing. So I'm going to now jump into some of my process and how I want to think about designing this book cover. I know this was very speedy. Okay, let's well, see you later. This is like the original design. So this is um, back when CreateSpace was a thing. Now they merged with KDP. KDP has that ugly, horrific banner. This is like when they first came out with their mat. Yes, I was a very loyal CreateSpace customer where they didn't even have mat when I was printing with them. This was like the first one I got of the mat, but you know, that sucks that I can't use them anymore. The design is great. I designed this when I was 14, I think. The spine looks better than the other ones just because there's a lot of texture on the spine, so the spine looks interesting. But again, not great. Like, here's book two in comparison. It's kind of eh, basic. Book one. Um, there's nothing really interesting. My name's not on the spine, so I definitely improved by the time I got to book four. But this one was taken in the same way. You can see it looks nicer. The picture's sharper. Um, it's better quality. And this is a bird cage that I still have. I don't... Oh, it's actually... It's up there with um, a uh, portrait of... Hugh Dancy as Prince Charmant and um, moth work. So this one definitely is an improvement. Again, it looks a bit plain. I definitely want the outside to look similar, but this is kind of my goalpost. I don't want to design it to look like this because I think it, this is ugly. I definitely want to obviously keep with the book four here and then my name is at the bottom. I, I guess I kind of have to keep <laughs> with that trend. Perhaps I could do some bevel and emboss. It is quite plain, except the back I think looks very nice. So this font layout looks pretty nice because there's a bit of movement, but again, I don't I'm not, I don't love that it's it's so plain. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I can make it less plain while also making it look like this. All right, so we're uh, back from that short intermission of me uh, vlogging uh, what I was thinking about perhaps doing with this book cover. And so here I am in Photoshop. Um, as you could see, I was not sure whether or not I wanted to keep the matches imagery or if I wanted to do safety pins. I knew the matches were going to be difficult to like do well and make look nice on the book cover just because they were hanging and it was just really hard to hang them up anyway because they're really fragile. Uh, you probably couldn't really see well uh, me like hanging those up, but that's what I was hanging in the beginning. But afterwards, I just hung up some safety pins. That was much easier. And so I decided to go with that. None have any thematic bearing in Rewired. I didn't really care. I just needed something for the front cover. <laughs> the other ones have thematic meanings like the crane and so on, but this one didn't matter. So um, what I started with is, uh, as always, was just making this font placement and kind of creating the quote unquote logo. I couldn't determine whether or not I wanted the book cover to be green or white. And my whole family and got their input on it. They were like green and I really didn't want it. So I was like, okay, that means it has to be white. I decided to do the red font so that it would look a lot more interesting. And like I said in the clip, I did end up adding like this nice metallic, um, like bevel, emboss, whatever it is, look onto the letters. And I think it looks much better. It's more interesting to the eye. This is really tricky to do this book cover and make it look nice because 14 year old me, you know, she made an attempt, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't really like it. So it's really hard to make it look consistent and look like the other ones, but you know, make it look better. So as you can see now, I was just sort of playing around with using this ink um, overlay. It was just like somebody messing around with ink in a wine glass and I just changed the blend mode on that and um, what really made this book cover to me come together was this overlay that I'm putting on right now which is like the scratches. Um, it was looking kind of plain before I kept looking at my sister being like don't, what do you think about this? Like, Do you like it? And we were both agreeing it looked a little bit plain but after I added that scratch overlay it, it kind of looks almost like ice um, and so I really like it. I also added a very slight green tinge over the whole cover and I think that looks much better. Um, I'm, I'm, I know I'm not going to be super happy with the spine when it comes uh, just because it does it does look 
kind of plain like the other ones but again i just trying trying my best with that one i i know there's not much surface area on that spine to play around with so on the back i have two things i have an excerpt from the book which comes from this section called oxygen in the book um, it's kind of like an intense uh, teaser to like put on the back of a book. And I also have a summary, which I wrote in five minutes. You know, I'm like a much better writer when like I can manage to like synthesize this book that has no plot in five minutes. I wrote it in five minutes. It's not a really great summary, but I just need something for the back. And again, here I am with the safety pins. This is an alternate picture with the three safety pins that I was thinking about putting on the cover, but I opted for the other one, which is a bit more spaced out. They still came in handy though, because I put them on the back cover and you know i think it i think it looks pretty nice guys like i don't know what you guys think let me know in the comments that is me designing this book cover thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in another video bye <laughs>